so after the device simulation, the output is uh, the charge dis distribution. Uh, actually, it's named a charge, but I just rename it like a charge 1 to the 18th, um, something like that. And then next, for FTDT simulations, we have to import that charge. Let me just take one of the examples. So I open this one. So this is the structure. Um, the size is 100 microns, is 2D simulation. Actually, the, the, the I mean, the, the, the geometry is still, still uh, 3D, but I just, uh, when I do the FTD TD setup, I can, do, I can set up as to do 2D simulations. So this is a plane wave. So I set up some of the monitors. Most important monitor is this one, basically to monitor the uh, point vector uh, versus time because later we will integrate the point vector to get the transmission. Um, so, yeah, so this is a setup. You can take a look um, for how to set up the this material. So the material, material you can see, there is a kind of material, but we don't use it. We, we use the one that we created. How to create it? Um, I have another video uh, to show that how to create this uh, the process. So basically you have to uh, define, um, basically you have defined the material and it is um, it is the re re refractive index um, is affected by the, uh, the Judy model. The refractive index is calculated from the uh, chart cloud density distribution and this is the density distribution. So if you, here you can import it, import it, import the one that you obtained from device simulation. And then when you when after run the simulations, as I said, the point vector is most important. So there are two steps uh, to to get the useful information from the point vector. Basically, we want to the point vector distribution versus time along this this line, the y direction. So first step is to do this one. So you save the, moni the point vector from monitor one to this um, uh, parameter, and then you save you save it to this um, data set using which can be um, opened by um, MATLAB. So if you you enter it and then you, you 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 paste it here, the enter it, then what you get is this file. So this is the file. And then you open the MATLAB, calculate transmission distribution, and then run the MATLAB code. You will get the transmission distribution. But first, let me let me just simple write, because you see it loaded the data, and do the following uh, calculations. So this is transmission along the y direction. So. What it did is first he load the data we generated from the FTDT simulation and from the script, and then find the size of the vector, the number of rows, columns, and then um, find the magnitude of the point vector, and and then do uh, integration. I find the find the distribution along the y directions. Yeah, you can take a look at the code and you see what it does. Um, one thing need to be noticed is uh, integration time because it is a plane wave pass through the device and then goes to this this side. Some light actually will reflect it back from this surface and then reflect it back again from this surface and come to this side. So, so depending on the time, you may integrate the wave twice. I mean, one is the a primary transmission. The second is the secondary transmission. So it depends on uh, what you really want to uh, to see. You can you can change the integra integration time. That's why I put a um, um, ratio here. Let's say I only want to um, integrate one thousand uh, feet of seconds or something. You can you can you can do that. But um, anyway, this is a process to generate the transmission um, along this. 
the y direction along this monitor in this monitor so if you can then you can change change the uh, wavelengths from the source like now I'm using 3.2 micrometers you can change it to uh, telehertz then to run the simulations okay